Hello and good morning everyone. This is John RMS aka Ace Bullion and today I have a very exciting video. Well, I'm excited and you can see the Simpson stuff. There's no doubt here that, you know, I am not a Simpson fan. I collect everything Simpson and I don't know why. Perhaps it's because of my childhood, you know, as I was growing up in the uh, 70s and 80s. But there you go, moving on. Uh, so, I have some exciting news here and well, it is just super awesome. So, the Perth Mint has officially released today, or last night while I was sleeping, a brand new coin. Yes, and it is finally something I was looking forward to. It is the Bart Simpson on a skateboard. And what's even better is that they've done it in a carded form. Very similar to this. By the way, if you want one of these, then head over to the Silver Trader and he'll hook you up. He has, you know, a few of these in stock. They are actually selling out very, very fast. Um, these are the half ounce ones, but the Simpsons one, the carded version. A lot of people ask me about carded versions and whether or not it's worth it or not. And, uh, well, let me tell you. Yes, absolutely. Here's a, a BU Simpsons. Uh, coin. Now, I didn't pay a heck of a lot. Yeah, it's a premium coin, but I didn't pay a heck of a lot for it at the time. And it's still not worth a heck of a lot. You know, I mean, it's still worth what I paid for it. However, the carded version, which if I take a good look at it in the back here, it says here that 25,000 of these were released. However, only 1,000 of the carded versions were released. So, why am I saying about carded version versus non-carded version? Well, it does make a difference. It really does. Um, I'll, uh, I'll show you again here. This is another one that if you haven't got the carded version, I recommend that you do. This is the Krusty the Clown. Here I have the BU version as well. Okay, so, and they call these actually in the card proof versions on the um, the website. So I actually took a look. There's only about 300 of these left um, on the Perth Mint website. So it's something definitely to make sure that you, um, you get a hold of. But... Yeah, this is super cool. This is the Krusty the Clown. Um, now, what's really cool about the new Bart Simpson one is that there's only a thousand, one thousand carded versions. And that's in silver. So I do expect them to make a BU version, very similar to the Krusty and the Homer. Um, now, here's the gold version. This is the one ounce gold, uh, you know, uh, Perth Mint version, and only 500 were minted in card. 5,000 were minted in just normal version. Now, I'm yet to actually pick up a normal version. I will be doing that at some point. Um, I actually found that on goldsilver.be, the carded versions do sell for more, but at the moment, not significantly. I think that's because they're running out of the carded versions um, and they probably have a few of the normal versions in stock. But I think they're just trying to sell them, see what happens. But we've, we've seen stuff here, like the two ounce family coin here, um, which I'm happy. I mean, these are mine. So um, this here is, I mean, it's ridiculous for the prices now. You know, five to six hundred plus pounds. You know, that's almost seven hundred, uh, seven to eight hundred dollars. Ridiculous amount of money for two ounces of silver. Yeah, I'm glad I bought it when I did. You know, I bought every one of these when they came out on the release. Uh, apart from that gold coin, which was the bane of me. Um, but yeah, do I think you should grab that, um, the one ounce carded Simpson? Absolutely. I mean, the markup or the premium on it is not that great. Do I think that you're gonna get a, a you know a return on it? 
Absolutely. Um, I actually bought two. I will be honest. Um, I, I've learned from my mistakes. I bought two of them and I decided the heck with it. I am going to buy two and that is that because it was just one of those things where it really bugged me and yeah, I just wish I bought two of every one of these, uh, especially obviously the, the family coin. But the Bar Simpson, if, if you go back and scroll through my reviews and videos, one of the things I was incredibly annoyed about here was, whoops, a little bit too far there, was that uh, Bar Simpson is not in his element. I mean, he's outside of the Quickie Mart. Uh, I, I believe I, I said all of these things on the video at the time. You know, I, I, yes, I do like Bar Simpson. I think that they had the Quickie Mart perfectly done well. However, you know, with Bart Simpson, you expect the bad boy image, him on a skateboard and, you know, enjoying life. Guess what? They now have it. And it's, A, it's not colorized either. So that's super cool. And then here we got Maggie sleeping with a Snowball and Santa's little helper. Uh, very just awesome. <laughs> the only thing I would have thought that, uh, see, this is what I love about these. You can just turn them. Uh, the one thing I, I thought that would have been really cool, although this is the typical scene of Maggie, you know, messing about, would have been Maggie with kind of that black star, you know, the uh, Budsy or whatever it's called, um, image on one eye and uh, her with a rifle in her hand because she seems to be saving Homer's backside and bacon on a regular basis. Mmm, Bacon. Coming up to it, now we have the Duff Beer. Yes, Duff Beer, and this is super awesome. Uh, I didn't like it at the time. It's grown on me over the years. And, you know, after seeing a lot of these uh, shaped, I, I, I guess, bars, this definitely, you know, lives up to one of my most favorite ones. And, you know, I'm still glad I actually bought them. All of these have exceeded what I've paid for them. If I wanted to sell them, I'm not. So don't start to uh, ask if I will, because <laughs> the answer is a simple, astounding no. Lisa Simpson, and again, you know, she's outside of school. She has her books. That's brilliant. I love it. Um, But yeah, Bar Simpson, if you are not, this, by the way, not gold. This is one of these deep ones from... The Simpsons, in fact, there's even a price tag on the back. How insane is that? So, uh, yeah, it is super awesome. It's super cool. This is a limited mintage here as well. There's only 6,500 of these carded versions available. Uh, but, yeah, if you are going to be sitting on the fence, if you're going to be contemplating anything about whether or not you want to buy uh, the new Bart Simpson coin, don't. Don't even think about it, just act, uh, in my personal opinion. Especially if you're flipping coins, that's going to be a great out. Um, got this lovely, uh, you know, Simpson lagger, and uh, it's just a really funny story with this, because the, the beer here was uh, actually produced uh, before... The Simpsons were able to uh, copyright it. So therefore, they got the rights. And they even took the Mickey <laughs> by having it in the same style as the real Duff. There we go. Yep, that's super cool, guys. I love it. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I've had it. Obviously, that's not real Simpsons memorabilia. But that is just one of those super cool things. Um, again, you know... These are going to be selling off faster, the half ounce versions. And, you know, it's, it is one of those really cool things. Yes, they do have a premium, but you know what? I might have to buy a few of these just from the Silver Trader myself because A, they're just super awesome. Uh, and B, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I do think that the entire set will eventually 
as it comes to a close, because we are starting to close in on the series entirely. And I think that, yes, people will start wanting these more and more and more as they're getting shown. And things like this, if you could pick them up, fantastic. Um, it, you know, you may, you, you may have to sit on those for a little bit, but they're definitely going to make you some money back. Um, but definitely go for carded versions if you can. Um, you know, limited to 2,500. Um, the actual BU version here, I, I can't remember, but it's a astonishing, astonishingly high number there. Um, and then we have here what this the BU version was 25,000 for the Homer Simpson. And, you know, with the carded version, only a thousand of those. So it's only going to be a thousand more of the Homer, uh, sorry, of the Bart Simpson. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'll uh, leave on a solid note here. Solid gold. Oh, God, love gold. Gold is so fun. And what I really like is I, <laughs> as a collector, this is one of the things I like to have on display. And yes, all of these are on display. And it's so that I could actually enjoy them. I don't just sit on them and think, hey, hey there we go. So the new 2020 is going to be awesome uh, for Bart Simpson. I can't wait five to seven working days and I'll have the new uh, Bart Simpson in my hands. There should be two of them, not one, but two. And that's it. So hopefully you like what you see, you enjoyed the announcement. And if you have, well, or not, Make sure that you hit the like button, leave a comment, and enjoy. I've given you the heads up. Hopefully, you guys will be able to get yours before they sell out. And I reckon they will sell out very quickly. It is one ounce of 999 silver in a carded version for Bart Simpson, the way that he's meant to be, in my opinion, at least. So, Perth Mint, well done. I can't wait to receive my... Uh, my new uh, Bart Simpson. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. This had to be a special announcement, a special broadcast, brought to you first by the silver, uh, yeah, by the silver trader. No, by Ace Bullion. Me. There you go. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. Bye for now.